Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express Academy. Today I'm going to discuss a new feature records. Guys, till now, whatever we've done, all the videos available in our YouTube channel, Java Express. Here we created a playlist for you, latest Java features 80 to 17. In this playlist from Java 8 to till Java 15, all the features are available, guys. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, okay? And even 16 also, we will upload in the same playlist to you guys. Okay, now let me start this topic record. What is a record? Why we need a record? See here, records are a special type of class. We have a class, we have a enum, right? In the same way, records also one special type of class. It will help avoid boilerplate code. Simple guys, you have a employee class. Inside employee, you have some attributes. For these attributes, if you want to initialize, you need a uh, parameterized constructor, right? Default constructor by default available. If you want to get the data, you need to get our methods or setter methods. You should have them to string method. Lot of things we are writing in normal Java class. Completely we can avoid by using the records. We can call as a data carriers. It will transfer the data from one place to another place. Data carrier purpose we can use for the records. Okay. Records by default immutable. Okay. Previously in interviews, people will ask, hey, how to create immutable class? Yes, class can make a final. Variables are final. Constructor should be required. No setter methods, getters. Like this, we used to follow some steps right here from java 16 onwards records itself is immutable it is a final class no one can extend also by default it is a final you cannot extend your custom record why because records are already okay this basically whatever you are creating internally it is extending one record class here it is similar to the enum how enum when you create, it will extend to the enum class. In the same way, whatever you are creating the records, it is also extending as the record class here. Okay, have a look at the syntax. But basically in the records, you can have static field and static methods. Records can have instance methods. One point you need to remember in the records is you should not have instant fields. The way of defining for the record is using the instance variables, nothing but components in the record declaration. Have a look this syntax, then you will get some idea on this one. See here, I specified my records using, okay, let me take a pen. See, this is a keyword. How we have a class enum in the same way, this is a record and this is your class name as a customer. See, employee number, employee name, employee salary, employee address. By default, there is no, no argument constructor, it's a parameterized constructor. How many fields you want? If you define in this approach, it has a compact constructor, two string method, equals and hash code, accessor, everything is available in the single line. See how much huge difference previous way of writing and now we are writing. Okay. Well, yes, when you are running, if you use Lombok plugin, explicitly we should specify the annotations here. But here, you no need to specify. We can use this is the purpose. Okay. Now, still some more points. You can override the default implementations as well. If you want a constructor, suppose in this program, um, you can send as an employee number, employee name. I want to verify employee name should be less than two characters, greater than two characters. I can do a validation as well. How I can do? It is a single line, correct? If I want to do a validation, we can define a constructor. Previously, how we are writing a constructor? This is the approach. This is a canonical constructor. Now, by default, four arguments. Here, if employee name less than two, illegal argument exception, then I am setting. This is the old approach. If you are using the records in single and shorthand format, see the syntax, public customer, there is no arguments. By default, it is a 
parameterized constructor you can avoid an everything curly bracket open and close the variables available in the package okay inside the same class i can do validation this is a new way of writing in the records for you guys it will be records oh, sorry guys records in the class okay let me demonstrate you with an example so that you will get a better clarity on this one now see here let me create a fresh project java project now our project name is 19 it is concept of the records it is feature java 16 feature okay let me choose the next option then finish <clears throat> now let me create a package let me create a package com dot java express okay here I am creating a first let me show you normal approach and then we'll go ahead for the uh, newer approach suppose you are creating a employee class the employee has how many attributes private integer e number okay and private string string e name assume that you have two variables for these two variables if you want to initialize through constructor you will use a constructor injection i mean sorry not injection parameterized constructor if you want to get the data or you want to set the data we are using setter and getter methods if you need a two string method source two string method see these many steps we are doing for two variables almost 38 lines of code we written okay we can reduce few space around 36 lines of code will written here the same thing i can achieve in different approach see here let me create a record here how to make a record uh, see directly you can create a record as well right click new okay here see record option if you don't have just a type in other type as a record you will get suggestion as well inside a record let me create as a customer okay i'm creating now this is a which constructor just a simple parameterized constructor default constructor now you want to specify the variable see int e number okay string okay e name float e cell something i discussed some couple of variables this is called parameterized constructor here okay here you can define your static fields by default it is a final public static integer suppose e number equals to 10 something uh, okay variable name should be same right um, number something customer number like this some static field you can define it as well now how to create a test class have a look let me create a test, test class for you okay now how you will do the main method uh, okay now employee employee emp equals to new employee okay i should provide some number and some characters uh, a a suppose bh okay something i given now system dot out dot print ln emp just if you are printing employee you will get some employee information it will be print as two string method now same thing i can do for the customer as well have a look customer c equals to new customer okay i should provide some number okay let me provide some java express and suppose 67 something some value i given system dot out dot print ln c just let me print the customer Run Java application. See, the complete information is printing. Now, if you want to validation here, how you will do the validation? Now, if if e name dot length less than equal to two characters, then throw th throw new illegal okay argument exception. Just I want to throw um, name should be greater than two characters okay now let me run this application suppose two characters i have now let me run this application see name should be greater than two characters illegal the same thing i can achieve here as well now how i can do copy this one okay now go to your test class you don't need to do anything public 
customer customer curly bracket oh, that's it this is the syntax done completed yes you no need to worry about define everything we can avoid everything here see now let me comment it for this one to get this exception suppose single character i have right click run as java you see you are getting exception now even you can override some methods as well some instance method suppose whenever you are printing ename i want to print in the uppercase letter see ename is the field okay now return ename dot to uppercase just i want to print See, even if you want, just you can use an annotation at the rate override. Why? Because accessor methods by using enum, there is no set to get, there is no methods like this. Have a look here. Now, let me provide some Java Express. Now, system.out.println, c dot c enum. There is no get enum from records, guys, like previous approach, c dot employee number. There is no specific setter methods here. Run as java application see capital letters it is printing uppercase letters for the java express why because in the records we are overriding that method here this is all about okay your records okay if you like this session please leave your comments and subscribe our channel share to your friends as much as possible guys thank you guys